coming today? Ultra black. Ultra black. Because we were seeing so many animals. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. <laughs> so we are staying in. Pahrump. Pahrump bum bum bum. Nevada. Um, and we chose this place because it's kind of in between all the things that we wanted to see. And by in between, I mean we're about 45 minutes to a little over an hour to each of the places. But we didn't want to stay in the city. Um, we didn't want to have to move locations because, yeah. Anyway, so we. Pahrump bum bum bum. Okay, so with Mark's new job, um, we're back to like seeing big things on the weekends or traveling on the weekends. So we moved locations yesterday. Yes. Um. And so today's Sunday, so it's our big day to go do stuff. So we chose to do the things that are furthest away from the campground um, that are not as easily accessible right, cause after got, work. Because we got a full day today. Yeah, so today we are um, heading out to Hoover Dam. We're gonna drive past Las Vegas. Um, we're heading out to Hoover Dam, and then we're going to Valley of Fire State Park because they're the two furthest things away. So we're kind of making a big loop today. Yes. Yeah. I agree. Um, we are going to do Vegas just on a different day tomorrow because it's a special somebody's birthday. It's Pi Day. It is also Pi Day tomorrow. So, yeah, that's what we're doing. Like me, what, what? So, kind of like when we were over in Page and Salt Lake Pal last year, you can see the water is way down here, too. But I'm so excited. Yeah. This is the spillway. Water has not flowed over that since 1983. That's crazy. So, so see this building down here at the bottom on the left? That's the one we just were in. Hey, look, it's down there. Oh, it has? Now this is what it looks like to go into the turbine. What is it? That is an earthquake. You guys have touched an earthquake. What? So, Daddy, tell us more. So, this is the result of an earthquake and the rock shifting. And do you know what one tectonic plate said to the other? Ugh. It's your fault. Dad joke. Fail. You're in Las Vegas area. You gotta come to Hoover Dam. Mm -hmm. But when you do, don't bring your knives into the Hoover Dam. Okay, so to my credit, it is something that's probably been in my purse for like, I don't know how long in the bottom of my purse. Yeah. And the man pulled me out and he is, do you have a pocket knife in your purse? And I was like, oh, possibly. So she was trying to take down the dam with a pink, as it, pink so knife. Don't be like me. Make sure you check all of your stuff that you don't have anything like that. Mark um, was super nice and went all the way back to our car to go put my knife so I didn't have to dispose of it. So um, the other thing is when you get here, make sure you go right to the visitor center to get your tour tickets. So there's the hour long tour. Um, and we, they were sold out until like an hour and a half, maybe two, it was like two hours from right. when we were there. Um, and we didn't want to wait. And so we did the shorter tour, which is a half hour tour. Um, and basically they do the same thing. You're just down in the dam longer for the hour tour and you get to see the original tunnel and the original staircase. Yeah, so another note, see way back there? That's the regular <laughs> parking near the entrance. You That's can the one go, you want. You can go into that parking and you want to be in that parking unless, like us, you have to park over here somewhere. Because you have a generator and gas in the back of your truck. That guy's really loud. But yeah, we, we had our generator and gas in the truck so they wouldn't let us park in the garage. So Which is fine. If you're a full-time RVer, take your gas and propane and stuff out of your truck so you can go park at the close spot. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway, but it's really cool. So if you're in the area, definitely, you know, come out.
out here and check it out because it is, you know, a, yeah. a crazy thing that they did way back in the day. Mm -hmm. And they came in under time and under budget. That doesn't happen anymore with the government. No, but they said because of no OSHA, <laughs> yeah. no rules, <laughs> yeah. 253 people died here and yeah. guys sat on top of dynamite to eat lunch. So, <laughs> yeah, you know, so. it came with its cost. Yep. All right, guys. I think another thing to note is, I guess for a while, you were not allowed to drive over the bridge, but now you can, or the dam, rather. So we actually drove over it to get to our parking lot. So it is kind of cool to drive over it. Driving back into Boulder City to go grab some lunch, and we've been looking all over the mountains for the bighorn sheep, but they're not in the mountains. They're eating the green grass. They're here eating the green grass right in Boulder City. Oh my gosh. That is so cool. We just came through um, the Lake Mead National Recreation Area. We stopped at the Visitor Center, um, and we're on our way to Valley of Fire, and um, Google has us taking the scenic route along the lake. Yep. So this is kind of awesome because we get to take in the sights of the lake. Um, we stopped and watched the video at the Visitor Center, and um, we saw bighorn sheep, as you guys just saw. So, I don't know, we're having a pretty good day. Yeah? Yeah. Um, so what I did talk to them about is, similar to Lake Powell, uh, Lake Mead is, you know, significantly lower than what they like it to be at. So it's at only 30% capacity right now, which is about 110 feet below um, capacity. If you look out on it, I mean, you can see. We're excited for the little road tour and to check out the lake. We made it to Valley of Fire. Yeah, a little later than we hoped, but taking that back road from Lake Mead through the recreation area was really pretty. And if you ever get a chance to drive that, I highly recommend it. Yeah, it was nice. It was really pretty. I got so, sleepy. He is sleepy. <laughs> so we got here. It's about three o'clock. Yeah. Um, but that's okay because I'm kind of hoping that we'll catch sunset over that place where everybody takes the picture. Yes. So yeah, that's where we're gonna we're gonna go check everything out. <laughs> all right let's go all right so we're heading we're at white domes and we're heading down to see the slot cannon what you need to know about white domes is it is all sand and you're gonna take a pile of it home in your shoes it's all the negatives of the beach without the ocean that's what I'm gonna say about this it is pretty, and there's some fun little hiking things to do. But like a trail on a bunch of thick sugar sand, not fun. This car in front of us just swerved, and we're like, "What's he looking at?" And we are having like super luck today. We're so thankful. But here's some big horn sheep. Right here. Oh, and that he's like young. Oh my gosh. Uh, that's so cool. We turned around because, you know, we were facing the wrong way now to come look at the sheep. And now we've turned around and now more of them are coming across the road from where we were. They're like coming up out of the slot canyon or valley or and something. I'm having a donut left over from this morning. <laughs> What do you think of this park? Amazing. Amazing. <laughs> 